Well, good morning, Lapine, <laughs> and all y'all world, and uh, welcome uh, this morning. <laughs> I, I, I'm so used to saying that. Anyways, I thought we'd take a walk together and uh, spend a few minutes in the Word of God. This morning, I was reading, and I thought, you know, this is such a, a perfect a perfect word right here to remind us of the things of God and you know the things that God has for us are are generally so much better than what we uh, allow ourselves to really enjoy <laughs> and uh, what a shame what a shame anyways but I just wanted to read this scripture to you this morning it is Psalms 106 29 through 31 and it says thus they provoked him to anger with their deeds and the plague broke out among them. Then Phineas stood up and interposed. And so the plague was stayed, and it was reckoned to him for righteousness to all generations forever. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. The people provoked the Lord to anger. Well, I can tell you from personal experience and from uh, also watching others, uh, I like how uh, others have put that. You know, I, it, I can't break my nose enough times to learn everything I can uh, compared to if I would pay attention to others and pay attention to the Word of God and uh, learn from that. That's so much more effective. But they, they provoked the Lord to anger. They knew what they shouldn't have been doing, and they did it anyways. And, man, I'd sure like to say that none of us ever do that anymore, that, you know, now that we have the New Testament and, and we know the love of God and we understand the love of Christ, and it's so much more than what we've ever had before, um, <laughs> that, of course, we never provoke God to anger. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? But unfortunately, we do things that we shouldn't do. And we, we say things we shouldn't say. All of us out of our frustrations, like Moses as a leader, got so frustrated with the people that he even forfeited a blessing from God. Beloved, today, the Lord has given us a, a wake-up call, uh, something to remind us. So they provoked him to anger with their deeds, and the plague broke out amongst them. Well, your plagues and the plagues that you go through, and it could be a financial plague, it could be a, a, a experiential plague, it could be a plague of, of something that you don't understand, or a plague of something that uh, uh, maybe it's a relational thing. Uh, obviously, the plague here was, it was a plague that was causing death amongst the people. It was a plague that was... Uh, poured out upon them because of the way that they were acting, because of the things that they were doing, because of the way that they were treating God and treating each other, and uh, the false idols that they were worshiping, the things that they were doing that was contrary to how God would have them do it. Well, beloved, you know, woohoo! Sprinklers just turned on. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Well, my screen's got a little bit of water on it because uh, the sprinklers just turned on on me out here on the lawn. That was a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to see them, there's the sprinklers. And this is me slightly... <laughs> I am fully awake and fully alive <laughs> right now. Anyways, so maybe I was going too far. Uh, <laughs> but here's the, again... It says the plague broke out amongst them and Phineas stood up and interposed. He interceded. And here's how you do that. You stand in the gap and you say, in the name of Jesus, I am not going to let this go any further. In the name of Jesus, I'm going to stand in the gap. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you to forgive these people. And, you know, I've had times where people have misunderstood me and, and, and stuff, and I have asked God to bless them and, and to pour out his love upon them and to, and to help them to forgive me and, and that I would forgive them and, and all of that. But, but to interpose is to put yourself in harm's way, potentially, 
on behalf of somebody else who probably desperately doesn't deserve it, which none of us really deserves grace. But let's stand in the gap for some people today. Let's stand in the gap for those that maybe even they've hurt our reputation or they've hurt our, our lives or maybe they've hurt our family in some way, whatever maybe it is. But let's stand in the gap for people today. <laughs> and by the way, when you do it, you might not be want to, you might not want to be right next to the sprinklers at the time that you do it. It says this, he interposed and the plague was stayed and it was reckoned to him for righteousness to all generations forever. You know what that means? That means that God was so excited that somebody knew that God loved his kids so much that he didn't want his kids getting hurt, even though they desperately deserved it. Do you hear me? God considered Phineas righteous because he stood in the gap for his people who desperately did not deserve to have somebody stand in the gap for them. Hallelujah, people have done that for me when I have been foolish in my life. And I pray that we would get better every day at standing in the gap for those who don't deserve it. And may the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you and give you peace, especially when you don't deserve it. God bless you. I pray you have an amazing day. Again, this is Pastor Norm. I pray God just love on you today, especially if you don't deserve it. God bless.